Ryan Sheckler rose to fame as a teenager with his own reality TV show on MTV, quickly becoming one of the most recognizable skaters in the world. Now Sheckler is older, wiser, and a dad. He's also playing the role of coach and mentor at Woodward West and is part of the Olympic skateboarding broadcast team in Paris. Jamie Maggio dropped by Woodward recently to catch up. The building blocks of skateboarding all start at the same spot. And that's why I come to Woodward. That's why I enjoy being a coach here and being a mentor and a visiting pro, to share that message. Like, we all start at the same spot. We all start right here with both our feet on the board, wondering what's next. <laughs> and what's next, you know, comes the ollie. And that's the basis of skateboarding, right there. Everything, that's where we start? Everything starts from there. And it won't look like that at the beginning. For me, skateboarding is more comfortable and I'd rather be skating than like walking or running. Like I feel more comfortable on the board. You are 34 now. So 34. Were, how old when you started skateboarding? But I was obsessed with skateboarding from the start. So the board was always on, on the side like this and like I could just play with the wheel. And eventually I flipped it over and realized that it rolled. And that's where my love of skateboarding like set in. And so by the time I was two, I had figured out how to stand on the board, start rolling down the driveway. You come to Woodward and you have a chance to impact these kids. Some of them are really young. Yeah. What does it mean to you to be able to, you know, be that kind of influence and that mentor? That's everything. That's why we do it, you know? That's why we do it, to eventually be able to share our knowledge. I think that's human nature and it's in its finest. About four years ago, got the opportunity to have like a director of skateboard program role at Woodward, and I take it very serious. A lot of kids here are just starting to put time into it, and so they with love and care and, and patience, and, and that's what it's all about. So if you show a kid patience and like they start having fun, then they'll skate forever. I want people to enjoy this sport and like be nice to each other. Like skateboarding is one big family and we need to keep it that way. You're gonna be covering um, Paris 2024. Yeah. Uh, very cool that skateboarding is an Olympic sport that yeah. started uh, Tokyo 2020. For you as a broadcaster, yeah. how, how was it for you to make that transition from competing as an athlete then going into the broadcast booth? I mean, it, it's pretty seamless, honestly. It's, you, you, it's your life. Yeah, it, it's seamless and like I get to talk about skateboarding and skateboarding is a passion of mine. And since I'm friends with most of them, you know, kind of a little bit of insight into like how they're feeling going into, um, into the games. So. I definitely have my work cut out for me, for sure. But it's also like, I just, I keep resorting back to like, this is what I do. So you, you have a 15 month old daughter I at do. home. Yeah. How soon before she gets on a skateboard? She's already been on it. <laughs> she figured out how to like hold the front and put one knee on the board and then push. And then at 14 months, she, she grabbed my hand and like pulled me to the board and stood on it and I pushed her and she just held her balance and was like rolling, standing up on the board. That's all I'm gonna do with my daughters. Just support whatever they wanna do. That's very Try cool. to stay calm when they get hurt. That was the biggest thing my parents ever did for me. You stay I would, calm? Yeah, I would break a bone, or my brothers would break a bone, and they stayed calm. They never freaked out. So I was like, all right, cool. Getting hurt sucks, but I'll come back. And I've had that mentality my whole career. 